Hallelujah. The parable of the sower concerns a sower who scatters seed, which falls on four different types of ground. The hard ground by the wayside prevents the seed from sporting at all, or, or at the seed because nothing more than bird food. The stony ground provides enough soil for the seeds to germinate and begin to grow. But because there is no deepness of air, the plants do not take root and are sown with the herd in the sun. The thorny ground allows the seed to grow, but the combating thorns chokes the life out of the beneficial plants. The good ground receives the seeds and produces the much fruit. Jesus explains of the parable of the sower highlights four different response to the gospel to see the, the word of the kingdom. The hard ground represents someone who is hardness by sin. He hurts but does not understand the word and Satan plucks the message away keeping the heart dull and preventing the word from making an impression. The stony ground pictures as a man who professes delight with the word. However, his heart is not changed, and when trouble arises, his so called faith quickly depresses us. The thorny ground depicts one who seems to receive the word, but whose heart is full of riches, pleasure, and lest the things of the word take its time and attention away from the world and he ends up having no time for it. The good crown portrays one whose heart understands and receives the word and then allow the word to accomplish its result in his life. The man represented by the good crown is the only one by the four who is truly saved because salvation proof is fruit. Matthew chapter 3, 7 to 8. Summarize the point of the parable of the server. A man receives God but is determined by the condition of his heart. A secondary lesson would be salvation is more than a superficial, but joyful, hearing of the gospel. Someone who is that truly shared will go on to prove it. May our faith and our life exemplify good soil in the parable of the sower. May God bless you.